you know, over there you think like everyone you're going to meet is a Filipino. Uh, and over here you think, oh, this is a melting pot and you're going to meet whites and blacks and Indians. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Zeta's Mamas and Dadas YouTube channel. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, notifications uh, if you want. I've been requested by the management to do a video about comparing and contrasting the Philippines with the United States which is a ridiculous comparison because how do you compare any one place to any other place? Because the town I live in is a lot different than the town next door. So of course this country is going to be different than another country on the other side of the planet. But there are a lot of similarities actually because we're all on earth and one place is much the same as another place. Um, I would begin, I suppose, uh, with the people um, over there and the people over here, uh, you know, over there you think like everyone you're going to meet is a Filipino. Uh, and over here you think, oh, this is a melting pot and you're going to meet whites and blacks and Indians and Latinos and everybody in between from the east and from the west and north and south, whatever. Um, but from what I've learned about the Philippines is the Philippines is a melting pot in its own right. Um, it's a place at the end of the world, uh, from my perspective, and from the perspective of a lot of other people, because the people who went to the Philippines, they kind of just kept going. They came from all kinds of different places, and they just kept going until they couldn't go any further, and that place was the Philippines, and... Um, so it's got its own melting pot thing going on. So all the Filipinos that you meet, they're all like different varieties of Filipinos. Um, if you look at their, where their bloodlines are coming out of, you know, but it's just, it's a melting pot at the end of the world. And the United States is a melting pot at the um, beginning of the world, you know, considering who was migrating where, when, which that's not even true because we had Native Americans that were coming over here at the same time as the people were flooding into the Philippines from wherever. Um, one thing I'll say is the women in the Philippines are very beautiful. I, I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but I'm only mentioning it because I went there to find a beautiful woman because we were all out of beautiful women. They all evolved into... Uh, married women they all evolved into mothers they all evolved into big fatties and they all evolved into druggies with mental problems and uh, they all became <laughs> not attractive anymore so the philippines is a great place to go to find attractive women which i think this is common knowledge at this point um the next thing I should say is about the culture of the Philippines versus the culture of the United States. A lot of people think the United States does not actually have any culture, but it does. It's just um, very specific to wherever you came out of, and our national culture is something we don't like to think about. In the Philippines, you have a lot of family gatherings, and you know, and there's people going to church and there's people going to school and there's people doing these nice things that, you know, kind of symbolize uh, the time before I was born. In the United States, it feels like kind of a 1950s vibe. Like that was like supposed to be like the best time for the United States was like in the 50s after World War II. Um, and we, you know, we went to school, we went to church, we had we took the pretty girl to the drive-in movies or whatever, you know, innocent things. Um, the Philippines is, in its ways, uh, more innocent. And even like the darker side of the Philippines, not that I know anything about it, I don't, but from what I could guess, uh, I mean, even the, the dark side of the Philippines is gonna be better than the dark side of the United States because there's more 
authoritarian, authoritarian. There's more authoritarianism in the Philippines, so it keeps the it keeps the black heart of humanity under control. Uh, I don't agree with being under control, but I also don't agree with the black heart of humanity. So that's kind of like it's like a tug of war that's been going on with governments and citizens since forever. Um, over here, I think the black heart is winning, and over there, I think the uh, authoritarianism is winning, but neither option is good, you'll notice, because we haven't developed enough brains to find a practical solution. Um, the climate in the Philippines hands down wins because it's tropics and everybody loves the tropics. Uh, everyone in the world, when they get their vacation, they're trying to go to the tropics. Uh, not everybody, but certainly myself. Uh, if I could go anywhere, it would be in the tropics. But um, it's kind of tough because it's got its own challenges, living in all that heat all the time. And um, in the cold, there's some things you don't have to think about. you got to think about other things, like freezing and everything around you being frozen. But um, the heat creates its own challenges. And so uh, I would say that choosing between hot or cold, um, I think it's easier to deal with the cold than with the heat. I used to think the heat has to be easier, but the heat can cause so many problems. Uh, just like the cold, so you're trying to find a balance. Um, but anyways, I like all the palm trees and the tropical foliage of different varieties and the coconuts and the mangoes and the bananas and the white sand beaches and the crystal blue waters and all that stuff. Um, so the Philippines would be winning on that front because over here we could go to like the go to Florida pretty much in the United States to get that whereas like the Philippines is pretty much all that uh, which is cool and uh, also we don't think about the inland um, country of the Philippines but when I got out of the city the little bit that I was able to see um, the countryside kind of reminds me of the countryside in the United States you know it's because you can it's a little more open and you can get around and and uh, the mountains in the Philippines that I saw were very beautiful, uh, different than any mount any other mountains I've seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of mountains, and uh, in the I've seen like all the mountains in the United States, or most of them, anyways. And uh, or half of them, okay, a little more than half. I've seen like a little more than half of the mountains. But the Philippine mountains are. Very cool. I didn't get to see any of the jungle out there, which I wasn't happy about. I got to see a little bit of jungle, but I wanted to see a lot of jungle because uh, it seems like that would be pretty sweet. Um, the food uh, is, it's a whole thing. <laughs> I should be making a whole different video about what's going on with the food in the Philippines versus the food in the United States. and. Uh, it's just different, dude, because, you know, in the Philippines, you're going to have their economy. It's just the food comes from the economy. And whatever kind of economy you have, that's what kind of food you're getting. And uh, they do some weird stuff in the Philippines that we wouldn't be doing here because uh, they don't got regulations. And uh, I like I like the deregulated nature of the Philippines. But um, things like cross-contamination... Uh, I don't like that. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the food because I'm not going to talk anymore about the food because it's just too complicated. Uh, I would say that the United States wins because we've just got that uh, economy that we've bulldozed everybody out of our way to have this big, strong economy that China is like... <laughs> burrowing into it and like sucking the life out of it but whatever um for now we still have this big strong economy that we built so our food is like insane you know 
Uh, it's not that great though because there's a bug in here. Um, you go to places like France and Japan and Italy and those people, you know, there's cultures that understand food like in a very deep and meaningful way. China, especially China, Chinese food is, you know, they'll eat anything with legs. The United States is just like a very modern situation. And the Philippines is like, it's all over the place. You got stuff that's really nice. If you, one thing is they cut the chicken different. Like over here, we, they have a certain way that they cut the chicken. They'll cut a chicken into like seven different pieces. It seems like in the Philippines, they just cut the chicken any way they feel like it. Which And so when you buy chicken, you never know what you're going to get, which I thought was funny. Um, but other than that, uh, Philippine situation with food is like whatever you make out of it. Like I was pulling together any meals that I, you know, if you go to a grocery store, they got grocery stores, just go there. And if you know food, then you can make good food out of it. It's just um, quality control when you're eating in the Philippines. The quality control isn't there. <sighs> often it is often not there um but well, like i said it's a whole big thing it's the alcohol in the philippines uh and this is probably true for asia so i got a friend in china and he drinks and he's like i don't get hungover and i think in the philippines when i drink in the philippines i don't get hungover when i drink in the united states i get hungover very easily hangovers in southeast asia are very small and in the United States, they're very big. And I think that's by design. Um, transportation in the Philippines is like not the same as it is here. Uh, I, first off, I don't fit into tricycles. So I am not a fan of tricycles because I am too big for them. And this goes with like being anywhere over there. Like I'm just too big for that whole country because the people are small and all like the doorways are small and I'm hitting my head on things all the time. And when I'm in the tricycle, I gotta like squeeze in there and like, it's not fun and I don't like it. Um, I like that you can rent a scooter for $10 a day. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but I, <laughs> um, it's tricky to get around in the Philippines because I don't know what's going on when I'm over there. It's just too much and too unfamiliar and I just want to get where I'm going. I'm not interested in getting around anyways. You can ask somebody else about that. Um, one thing that's sad is there's children in poverty in the Philippines. You don't see that in the United States because in the United States, impoverished children will be given to the government and the government will put them into some kind of a facility and then find more appropriate housing. So you don't see homeless children in the United States, but in the Philippines, there are homeless children and that is uh, a hard pill to swallow. But you know, those homeless children are with their parents. So is it better to be sheltered by the government or homeless with your mother, you know, who knows? Who can answer that question? <clears throat> and then, you know, uh, the last thing would just be uh, the Philippines is winning uh, by holding on to uh, traditional society, you know, church, school, family, country they all love their country so you know from my perspective i'm uh i'm not much, i'm not a big fan of the united states because i've got a lot of complaints uh but if i was in the philippines more i would have complaints about the philippines more uh because nowhere is perfect uh i do believe that we have the potential as humans to create perfect societies uh i just think that we are failing ourselves because it's easier, I think. Um, and that's it. We don't want to, we don't want to do the right thing because the right thing is hard. So we just do the easy thing, but it's, it's wrong. And so 
people in the Philippines are screwing up the Philippines and people in the United States are screwing up the United States, but it's all for this because it's just easier. Um, it's difficult to make meaningful changes, but this, the whole world needs to come together and create a solution because the problems are obvious and they have them over there and they have them over here. But um, I love the Philippines. I think it's awesome. I'm super happy when I'm over there. Uh, I like being in the United States because this is what I'm used to. Um, I'm always confused in the Philippines uh, and I'm always like, I got a feeling like I don't really belong there. Um, and uh, I don't really belong here either because I don't like it. <laughs> uh, maybe if I could smoke some weed, I would like it, <laughs> but I can't. So that's her. Once my lady gets here. Anyways, that was the video. Thanks for watching Zeta's Mama's Dada's YouTube channel. Like if you don't like it, comment if you got nothing to say. Subscribe if you don't want to and hit the notifications just because I said so. Deuces.